Enjoy safe medical tourism with K Quarantine. Santos is a longtime liver cirrhosis patient. Recently, he finally decided to undergo a liver transplant with his son as the donor. However, no hospital was willing to perform the surgery. Olga lost her mother and aunt to breast cancer. A few days ago, she began to feel pain in her breast. She wanted to get herself checked by high-quality medical professionals. After doing extensive research, Santos and Olga found good hospitals in Korea and made medical appointments. But suddenly, the COVID-19 outbreak shook the world. The pandemic threatened their plan to seek treatment in Korea. But after a while, Santos and Olga were able to return home in good health after receiving treatment in Korea. How were they able to receive surgery and treatment in Korea? It was made possible by the world-renowned K-Quarantine model and the 3T strategy. The 3Ts are test, which involves prevention and testing, trace, which involves tracing people who came in contact with COVID-19 patients, and treat, which covers the treatment for patients with COVID-19. Strategies under test include Korea's tried and tested COVID-19 PCR diagnostic test, which some countries even arrange special flights to obtain, and drive-through and walk-through screening stations for which Korea has gained worldwide recognition. On the other hand, TRACE utilizes self-diagnosis and quarantine apps as well as survey systems powered by Korea's advanced information technologies. For the third type of strategy, TREAT, the term refers to the severity-based treatment system, residential treatment center, and national safe hospital. These are the K-Quarantine model and 3T strategy which have been launched by Korea and served as a benchmark around the world. Let us now follow Santos and Olga to see if they managed to receive surgery and treatment in Korea. We'll also be learning how their experience was affected by the 3T strategy. Overwhelmed with both worry and anticipation, Santos and Olga head to the airport. Santos and Olga need to prepare several documents before boarding. Furthermore, international patients entering Korea are also required to submit a consent form, which states their willingness to undergo a 14-day quarantine at a government-run temporary residential facility. There are other things to consider if you are entering Korea from high-risk countries – Bangladesh, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Philippines, and Nepal. International patients from these countries need a negative COVID-19 PCR test certificate issued by a medical institute designated by the Korean Embassy of their country at least 48 hours before departure. These documents are crucial for managing the spread of COVID-19. You will be prohibited from boarding your flight or entering Korea if you do not submit all the required documents in your country of departure. Santos and Olga arrived safely in Korea after presenting their facility quarantine agreements and negative COVID-19 PCR test certificates. They first need to have their temperature checked and fill out a questionnaire about their health. At this stage, entrants showing COVID-19 symptoms are separated from those with no symptoms in the special entry procedure. Entrants showing symptoms are tested for COVID-19 at the airport. The results will determine whether they will be transferred to hospitals or residential treatment centers. Meanwhile, patients without symptoms shall be housed at government-run temporary residential facilities for their 14-day quarantine. Thankfully, Santos, his son, and Olga did not show any COVID-19-related symptoms. They received instructions regarding their lives during the self-quarantine and filled out and submitted their travel record declaration forms. Then, as instructed, they installed the self-quarantine safety protection app on their smartphones. The travel record declaration form requires a contact number or an address in Korea, so it helps to have the contact information of your hospital ready in advance, just like Santos and Olga. After completing the entry process and receiving a health screening certificate and a quarantine notice, Olga is transferred to a temporary residential facility using a free quarantine vehicle service provided by the Korean government. At the temporary residential facility, the staff checks Olga's temperature once again and conducts a simple check-in survey, which will help ease Olga's 14-day stay at the facility. The survey contains questions about her medical history, food allergies, and preferred diet. At a temporary residential facility, each room accommodates a single person. However, a person may choose to share a room with their children, family members, or friends. A single-day stay costs 120,000 Korean won per person, while a 14-day stay costs 1,680,000 Korean won. Olga begins her quarantine at her assigned room. Within three days, Olga gets a COVID-19 diagnosis test at the facility, which is fully paid for by the Korean government. In addition, patients should delete the self-quarantine safety protection app during self-quarantine and install the self-check mobile app available in Korean, English, and Chinese. Patients must check their physical conditions for any signs of COVID-19 using the self-check mobile app twice a day. But wait, where did Santos go? Santos seems to have chosen to quarantine at a hospital. How does quarantine at a hospital work? 
The Ministry of Health and Welfare, MOHW, has made guidelines that allows international patients with severe medical conditions to be quarantined at the hospital where they have booked a treatment. Eligible international patients include those who must undergo cancer surgery, chemotherapy, and organ transplant, those with cardiovascular diseases and trauma patients, or those presumed to be suffering from equivalent conditions and requiring continuous and rapid treatment. A patient who wishes to be quarantined at a hospital should have an international patient certificate issued before he or she entered Korea. In addition, instead of going to hospital immediately after arriving in Korea, he or she should first go to temporary residential facility and switch to his or her hospital upon testing negative for COVID-19. However, not all hospitals implemented hospital quarantine guidelines, so please make a prior inquiry to the hospital when making an appointment. Before we go further, let's have a quiz. Which document should patients submit when entering Korea from a high-risk country? 1. BTS Army Certificate 2. Document with the patient's Korean name 3. Negative COVID-19 PCR Test Certificate The answer is 3. A negative COVID-19 PCR Test Certificate As of July 13th, all nationals from high-risk countries are required to submit negative COVID-19 PCR test certificates issued by local medical institutions designated by the Korean government upon entering Korea. Let's do one more. Which of the following individuals is not eligible to quarantine at a hospital? 1. Mr. A who needs chemotherapy. 2. Miss B who needs to undergo breast cancer checkup. 3. Miss C who needs a liver transplant. The answer is 2. Miss B who needs to undergo breast cancer checkup. Quarantine in a hospital is only allowed for international patients with severe conditions entering Korea for treatment. Santos is an international patient with a severe medical condition in need of urgent treatment. After testing negative for COVID-19, Santos is transferred to the hospital for quarantine and the pre-testing of his liver transplant. On the other hand, Olga, whose purpose for visiting Korea is to get breast cancer checkup, begins her life at the temporary residential facility. Olga can seek help from on-site medical professionals and facility personnel whenever she needs something or has concerns during her stay. She can also make video calls to her family and even watch movies to pass the time. Just like that, Olga's 14-day quarantine is over after testing negative on the final COVID-19 test at her quarantine facility. Olga gets on a car sent by the hospital to go to the hospital for her breast cancer checkup. Santos also completes his quarantine at the hospital. He pushes through with the liver transplant and is now recovering at a fast pace. A few days later, Santos and Olga completed their treatment despite the difficulties brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Both can now go back home in good health, all thanks to K-Quarantine and K-Medicine. Goodbye, Santos. Goodbye, Olga. We hope to see you back in Korea completely recovered and of sound mind and body.